<laughs> Hi you guys. So many of you guys want to know my story but for those who are new my name is Kimberly Moses and you know I want to tell you guys my journey. You know so get ready. Some of you might want to put this on pause, pull up a chair, go get some popcorn, amen, because I am going to take you on a ride. So let's tell you know about my story, my journey. So many of you guys know, you heard me say this a thousand times, but guess what? My testimony is never old. Amen. Maybe old to you, but guess what? I still glorify God. So when we testify, we give the enemy a black eye because the word of God says that, you know, we overcome by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimony. So guess what, you guys? I was raised a Buddhist. That's right. I was raised a Buddhist. I still remember the the chance you know in my head you know because that took years of just embedding that stuff in me but i never uh confessed it out of my mouth you know so i grew up that that way the buddhists believe in reincarnation and what that is is they believe that when you die you come back as an animal a pig a rat a bug a dog you know so that's what they believe so um, when you go to different restaurants that believe in Buddhism, because we went to them, you know, they give you like the menu was the bomb, you know, but they give you like, um, you know, based on your birth year, you know, they'll say, oh, in the, the, the last life you were a rat. So since I was born in 1984, they told me in my last life I was a rat. You guys, I hate rats, you know, I, I hate all rodents. I'm like, okay, I, I don't know. So that's what they believe in. I believe in like if you just do great works, then you're a good person. But you, uh, I just feel like preaching you guys, but that is not the, the case if you follow Christ Jesus. Because, you know, we Christ Jesus, he saves our soul. Amen. So let me back up. So people, I was a Buddhist. And every week we used to go to this meeting called SGA. Uh, I think it's called SGA, and we get together, we just chant for hours. There was a, uh, a box with a scroll inside of it, and like uh, uh, Oriental, that's the best way I can describe it, letters. I, I, I couldn't tell you what it meant if I even tried. And then we used to bring it offerings, uh, like some clean water in a bowl, you know, and some cookies. And I remember as a child, I was like, ooh, cookies, you know, I wanted it. My mom slapped my hand, uh-uh, that's for the gahamzam. You know, that's, that's what the wooden shrine is called. Um, so we did that, and we know that the Word of God, you know, God hates idols, and, you know, I can preach to you all about idolatry, but I'll do it on an, another broadcast. So I just remember, um, <clears throat> you know, just wanting these cookies on this little shrine. Um, but this is, a, this is a tipper, the kicker. I remember um, my mother and my dad, they wanted to explore new religions, like maybe Jehovah Witness. And uh, yeah, I used to go to uh, Kingdom Hall as a kid. I went there a few times, actually, because my mom's best friend growing up was a Jehovah Witness. But, you know, I said, Mom, I don't want to do it because, you know, they don't celebrate birthdays and all this. And, you know, I was like, they don't even celebrate Christmas. And I don't want to do that, you know. So my mom said, okay. So anyways... When my mom tried to leave that religion and my father, the people got mad and they put a curse on my family. You know, word curses are real. And if you believe in that stuff, then it takes power over you. But if you don't believe in that, then it has no authority over you. And one thing about Christ Jesus that I can honestly say that he's real, uh, that he broke the curse off my family. That's why I converted. That's when I knew he was real. But let me just backtrack and take you on a journey. So... One day, the lady came over to my mother's house, and they got in an argument, like the lady over like uh, the Buddhism organization in uh, the city that we lived in when I was growing up. She came over there, and her and my mother got in a disagreement, and the lady, she started crying. She just started bawling. She said, you have no idea. You have no idea what you're doing. She said, if you leave this religion, if you leave us, it's going to be bad for you. It is going to be bad for you, you know. So she put a curse on our family. And, she, and the lady was like, 
you know, it's going to take years for you. Years. It's just going to be bad luck. They believe in luck. So, okay. So, you guys, I grew up very superstitious. You know, my family was very superstitious. You know, they believe in you step over a crack. You know, if you uh, wash clothes on Good Friday, if you put hangers on your bed, just all kind of crazy stuff. You know, black cats and just crazy things. This, this is what I grew up in. All right, so let's get back to these word curses. So immediately, all kind of bad things started happening to my family. And not to mention, there was a big portal open, a big demonic portal open. You know, you, you know I, every night, I, you know, I already had an active imagination as a kid. I had imaginary friends. So here I am talking to this little red man. You know, I just saw this little red man in the spirit. You know, I wanted to be a mermaid, you know, this crazy thing, you know, and, uh, and, and I, I said, talk to my doll babies, just, just talking to something that wasn't there, you know, so it was already a portal open. And can you imagine just going to sleep at night and you just feel an evil presence and you wake up and then you see these like dark shadows standing over you with red eyes. That's exactly what happened a lot to me. Or sometimes they'll try to kiss my mouth, pull my hair, touch my breasts, crazy stuff, right? Um, just evil. So as a kid, I used to be really afraid of the dark, and I put cover on my head. I used to ball up in the fetal position because I just didn't want to see anything, you know, and I just hurt and go to sleep. So anyways, um, a lot of bad things start happening to my family. I remember just waking up. 3 o'clock in the morning, somebody screaming at the top of their lungs, ah, you know, because the evil in their house was thick. Uh, my parents said they saw people standing in a mirror. Uh, they, they brought like some mirrors, I guess, from the thrift store or something like that, and they hung it in their room, and then they kept seeing demons and spirits inside of the mirrors, and we used to watch like Exodus, uh, the Poltergeist. You know, Freddy Krueger, all these demonic type movies. We this like scary movie marathon. That was our house. You know, we used to always watch it. Uh, and you know, so anyways, it's to chase us out the house. We used to drive around the city to everybody calm down, got enough guts to go back inside of our house. You know, that happened a lot. Um, I remember my mother, uh, her and my little sister, my baby sister Brittany, when they were driving. Um, these used to drive, she used to have a, 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 a Maxima, I think it was a Maxima, a car, and she was driving one day, and then she was just trying to brake, she hit the brakes, and the car wouldn't stop, she's like, what, what in the world, why can't I hit the brakes, what's wrong, my car won't stop, so immediately she had to just drive off the side of the road, and she just ran off the grass, and she had to run and hit a tree, but in the meanwhile, peep this out, God was with our family, you know, we didn't even know about God then. I didn't know about Jesus then. So, she told my little sister, Brittany, she said, get down, get down. Brittany was only like two at the time, you know. And then Brittany got down, you know. And my mom, she was bracing for impact and she hit this tree head on, you know. And it totaled the car. But then after they got in the accident, my sister said to my mama, Mommy, this is a two-year-old talking. Where's the lady that was with us? My mom said, what lady? There was no lady with us. But my sister had seen an angel. You know, even in our foolishness, even in our darkness, God sent an angel to keep over watch over our family. Isn't that awesome? You know, so that, that happened. And then the enemy had it out for my sister Brittany. He, he had it out for her. And one thing I can say about Brittany is, you know, she can see, you know, and I pray that she walk in purpose and destiny, but she, she can see in the spirit. But anyways, um, and my, my young sister, my youngest sister, she was outside one day walking. And she's a little baby at the time, two years old. And then she cut up her foot really bad. She had to get stitches in her foot. So my, my parents took her to the hospital then. You know, they stitched up the little baby foot, two-year-old. Uh, and then this is, the, this is the, the worst one, you guys. So, you know, m my brother at the time, I think my brother was maybe 12 or 13. He was old enough to watch everybody, you know, and I was like maybe 9 or 10 at the time. And, yeah, so my parents was at work or they went to the store or something. They weren't home and they left my brother in charge of us. So I remember uh, my sister Brittany again, and I think it was Brianna. Uh, they were uh, in the window, laying in the window, 
you know, they, they, they're trying to make the seal, the window seal a bed. You know how thin the window seal is? It's really thin. Nobody can't lay on that. So, Brittany fell through the blind. She fell through the window. She, she busted the screen of the window. And she fell, you guys, three stories down. And she hit her head on some concrete. Yes, Brittany hit her head on concrete. And here's this little baby, a two-year-old baby. Can you imagine? She hit her head on concrete. She had to get massive surgery. She had to get a plate on her head. She has a plate even now in her head. Beautiful girl. So, you know, things like that was happening. Very dark, very demonic um, stuff in my family. So, my dad told somebody what was going on with everything in, in the family. He told everybody what was going on, right? And this, this, this guy that worked with my dad, he said, hey, you need to stop immediately. Go get saved. Go get your family baptized in the name of Jesus. So, my dad followed the man's advice. And at the time, I was just 12 years old, you know, so my dad got us baptized in Jesus name that's why he got us baptized and when I felt clean I felt so clean I felt so pure I felt so much peace for the first time 12 years old it's the first time ever in my life I heard Jesus all that bad stuff started ha stopped happening no more demonic spirits at night for a long time you know no more uh, worrying about if my sister gonna die or going out the house getting an accident no more all that stopped 